This is A2 Pure. We're in Unit 4 Integration and we're looking at integration by parts. Uh, previous video went through a few examples of integration by parts and here we're looking at it for definite integration. So if you're doing a definite integration looking for a value out of it, it's going to be the UV uh, is where your V square brackets are going to appear and then your BNA will appear up here for the V du by x. So let's look at a couple of examples and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. So we're asked to evaluate between 2 and 1 um, x e to the x. Uh, I think we have a similar one like this in our notes. So u we're going to let equal to x and obviously then du by dx is going to be 1 dv by dx is e to the x and integrating that we get e to the x um, so how does this definite integral work out we get uv which is x e to the x that's between 2 and 1 take away the integral between 2 and 1 of uh, v du by the x, so it's v du by the x, so it's just going to be an e to the x. So again, we end up with x e to the x between 2 and 1. We've up there slightly so we can continue to see. Hopefully, that's okay. Take away integrating e to the x, of course, just gives e to the x again between 2 and 1. Uh, no plus c required whenever it's def definite integration, of course. So, subbing in. Uh, we are going to get 2 e to the 2, take away e to the 1 for this bit here, minus e to, minus e to the 1, and 2 e to take away e to the 1, take away e to the 2, plus e to the 1, just leaves us then with... Um, approximately 7.39 or in and around there and um, let's take a look down there a second example That's something similar uh, so let's put it down here so this is x sine x again i think we integrated this one earlier on uh, but not with limits on it so uh, u is x du by dx is 1 dv by dx is sine x and if we integrate that we get minus cos x i think don't we um so our integral then between zero and pi over two our uv is minus x cos x and that's again between pi over two and zero take away the integral of minus cos x times one dx if you, you have a plus there effectively, so the cost then will just go to the sign, I think, doesn't it? So, uh, minus x cos x pi to 0. So subbing in pi over 2 into here, we get minus pi over 2 cos pi over 2. And obviously sub in 0, it doesn't matter what's there. So that bit's just going to be a 0. And subbing in, uh, we're going to get sine pi over 2 taking away 0. Remember, of course, that pi over 2 is effectively 90 degrees. So we can do our sums from there, and uh, cos of 90 is 0, so this whole bracket here becomes 0. Uh, sine of 90 is 1. So after all that, uh, we get an answer of 1.